Okay, I fired up my kiln. Uh, I'm burning off the um, all the binders in the in the uh, board and the fiber and everything like that. So it's pretty smoky in here. Um, as you can see, there's a nice reduction flame going right now. Let me shut the light off. See that? That's nice. The kiln right now, it fired really fast. I started about 6.30. It's about 10 o'clock now and it's up to 2,000 degrees. Um, what I'm going to do is tomorrow or the next day I'll shoot a little video and I'll give some detail on this kiln on the inside. Uh, what I did uh, for coating with ITC and explain what I'm going to do, how I'm going to coat it further. Uh, what I did was um, any of the um, ceramic fiberboard right now that's in contact with that flame has one coat of ITC on it. Uh, none of the bricks do uh, because a lot of the bricks here and there have some um, uh, um, concrete um, refractory cement and that needs a fire to cure it fully so what I needed to do was cure that uh, refractory cement before I coated it with ITC, I didn't know if it would make a difference, but I didn't want to take a chance. So I'm kind of killing two birds at one stone, um, firing a first coat of ITC and curing the cement. And then what I'll do is when the kiln cools off, I'll coat everything in there with ITC. Okay? Um, I even coated the inside of the chimney with ITC. What I did is I took a stick and I, I, um, I kind of... Um, used a rubber band and put a big sponge on a stick and I scrubbed the inside of that that chimney with um with um ITC and give it a good coating so everything has a good coating um, I don't know if you can see with this smoke coming out of corners and crevices um, in between the brick and the kiln itself is a uh, one inch fiberboard so this kiln is actually pretty pretty well insulated I'm, I'm pretty happy with it uh, you can see the um, temperature footprint, I guess you could call it, um, on that. And what I'm going to do with this uh, board on the outside is I'm going to um, use some cement, uh, some refractory cement, and I'm just going to give it a, a good coating, just to give it a, a, a more durable crust because it's it's pretty fragile stuff. You know, I, I busted some corners here and there, so I'm going to kind of give it a coating just to kind of uh, stiffen it up a little bit. Uh, you can see the handles I made, uh, just some pieces of strap steel with a couple of holes and just a, a quick bend. And it worked out well because it, when I put that cover down, it sits on that strap handle, so it kind of protects the edges and stuff of this this cover. So, uh, As you can see, it, it's burning really hot and my ceiling is pretty low, so I, um, I, I did like what Andrew Holden did in his book and I put a piece of fiberboard. I don't have any of that... Um, calcium silicate or sodium silicate board but I took a piece of fiber board and kind of as a flame blocker and I'm kind of lowering and um, uh, raising this door up every you know 20 or so minutes to <laughs> alternate the, the heat effect uh, over here I have a little peephole and I have an old um, gauge here off an old electric kiln and right now it's reading 2000 degrees okay um, I don't know how accurate it is. I don't have any shells in there with a cone, so I can't check it with a cone. But that's giving me a rough idea, okay? So, like I said, I'll, 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 um, I'll, um, take another video when it's cool, and I'll show you some more details. There's the burners, obviously. And in here is a propane tank. It's a little chilly out, so what I did is I put in a, a warm water bath. And an hour ago, that water was hot, hot. Now it's, that water's cold again and I keep this towel over it to kind of insulate it. So um, I'm actually going to shut this kiln off now, let it cool off a little bit, uh, basically because I, I don't feel like waiting for it to um, to fire anymore, and uh, kind of give the, uh, the house a break from this, this smoke and this odor that's kind of permeating all over the place. Uh, what I'll do is probably drag it outside for the second firing after I recoat it with ITC, and really um, run it through its paces and see if I can't get it up to cone 10. Um, and that's it. So, so far so good. And um, stay tuned for the, the next clip I'm going to run. Thanks for watching.